So I'll, I'll open it up if there are questions. Uh, in terms of the former question, I think there are, I think there's a couple things that are going to happen. Uh, number one, we here at New Health see a number of people who are uninsured, who are, and, and who are of uh, 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 modest income. And uh, if they are documented, and some of, some of the folks that we see are, some aren't, but if they are documented, they will be eligible. And, and we, as the safety net provider, tend to see a preponderance of patients like that. Uh, because this is the place where they would naturally come to know that they're going to get high quality care and, 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 and uh, 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 because that's our commitment and our, and our mission. Um, so I expect that a number of our patients that we currently see are indeed going to be eligible. But to the question that you asked, I also expect that there will be people who may not have been in our system, but who will hear that we are um, uh, uh, educating people about um, insurance options, who uh, want to find out more about insurance, who have been scared to go to the doctor because they're afraid of the bill that they might get, who indeed will come out of the woodwork and come into hopefully places like ours and uh, other places as well. But certainly we hope to get them here um, to educate them and give them an opportunity to enroll in the plan, um, uh, in the, in the, in the plan of their choice. Uh, so I think we're going to get both. I think it's patients that we have that come in our doors each and every day and people who maybe are, are, are disinclined or scared or maybe they didn't need uh, 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 to encounter the healthcare system, but um, as, as Craig said, may need it in the future and they see this as an opportunity to make a down payment and an investment on their, uh, on their future health needs. So I think we can get both. In terms of reimbursement, as I said, in, in healthcare nothing is linear and nothing, nothing, things don't always add up the way that one would, 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 would think they would. Um, but there's going to be a dramatic change in the way hospitals are going to get paid uh, uh, for this population of patients. Uh, uh, currently, hospitals like mine uh, get a number of supplemental payments to offset the cost of delivering care to individuals who are uninsured or uh, 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 well, who are, under, uh, who are uninsured. What's going to happen is as more and more of those people get insured either through the exchange or through an expansion of Medicaid, the government is going to reduce the subsidies to institutions like ours and other institutions because they're using those subsidy dollars to expand coverage. All right? So how do I think the math plays out in this in the end? It's very, very difficult and very, very complicated to say. But that all being said, you know, this is an institution whose primary commitment is to providing high quality, low cost care to, to NASA's most vulnerable populations. We would not be doing our mission. We would not be achieving our vision for our institution if we weren't optimizing our patients' opportunity to be able to get coverage. Because if they get coverage, all right, they will, that, 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 that gets to, the, to, to achieving for us high quality, low, low cost care for as many of the, of the people in Nassau County who are vulnerable, who need the care as possible. If they don't have coverage, they're going to be reticent to get care or they won't get care at the right time uh, and they'll defer care and as a result, they get sicker than they need to be. So we see expansion of coverage as critical to achieving our vision for what our institution ought to be doing and for achieving what we think we need to achieve in terms of the health of the population uh, in Nassau County that, that we serve. So whatever the math, all right, the issue is what's the right thing to do, and the right thing to do is to get as many people who are eligible covered as possible. We were actually just talking about that beforehand. I think the simple fact is that some of those glitches were to be expected. Um, I heard a comment today. I thought it was really clear and concise and hit the point. You'd rather have uh, too many people coming on and, and it not working than having a great website, perfect system, and no one being attracted to it. So the reason why there's a six month open enrollment period in the, in the first year is to allow enough time to deal with those glitches. So we're not overly concerned. I don't think from a health plan perspective that it was shocking in any way. It was kind of to be expected. Um, and we're pleased to see the, the interest and um, uh, we look forward to you know, getting the people the information that they need and we are confident that the, uh, the websites will be up and running in, in no time. Be patient. Um, we, are, we still have people out in the field. You're, you're still, you can still evaluate what the person might be eligible for. You know, they just will not be able to sign on to get it right yet. And remember, this, this uh, insurance is not, you know, they, if they sign on today, they're not effective until January 1 anyway. So I think there's a, there's a, there's a amount of time. Uh, be patient. And again, the message is we're uh, happy that there, there was that interest. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you guys, okay. 
Yeah, I mean, the only thing I would add, the only thing I would add to that is, and, and you said it, 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 this is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, uh, people did not need to get signed up yesterday. Uh, they, they have time to get signed up. Uh, I think we as a country and we as a state, uh, and by the way, and I should have said this, the state of New York is to be commended for the amount of time and effort and work that they put in to establishing the marketplace here um, uh, as well uh, under Dr. Shah's leadership. But uh, the, the reality is you can't let the perfect be the enemy of the, of the good because you'll never get everything exactly right for launch. Uh, so there's some glitches, but then there's going to be then the glitches will get fixed, and people will be able to be able to get enrolled and get insured. But that message is right. The reality is there's a lot of information out there now. Even if there's a problem enrolling, we can certainly uh, educate people about what their options are, and that process actually helps us because we learn more about the kinds of questions that people are actually looking for answers to. All right, and that helps us to hone and refine our message to them as well. All right, guys, it's day, it's day two, actually, so let's get back to work. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much.